Hello everyone, we are coming to you from a very, very, very special location. I've been meaning to come here for a very long time. I'm here with Yessa. Where are we? In Germany somewhere. I still don't know where. <laughs> we drove like and three hours to get here. And a really nice place. There's a lot of like trees everywhere and the uh, location you will see it later, but it is a new stables from Patrick Kittle and Lyndall Oatley, who, as all of you know, are two very well-respected Olympians in their own right. We've just arrived at this stable. It looks absolutely amazing. They've just moved here, so everything is still settling in. They're still settling in, but it looks, as you guys can see, absolutely amazing. It just looks like you walk into a park. But yeah, it looks, it's insane. And I've already seen some photos of the place, and you guys know I like beautiful stables, and this is definitely a beautiful stable. So Patrick just texted me. He's waiting for us around the corner. He's going to be showing us the whole stable and you guys get to come with us to see everything for the first time. I'm super excited. So it's going to be good. Let's go see him. He's just waiting inside. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you guys again. Nice to see you. <laughs> Look at this place. It looks amazing. <laughs> nice watch. It's pretty, yeah, nice watch. Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I you mean, look tiny like, in here. <laughs> well, I cleaned it all up before you guys came. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I see. So I was like sweeping here at lunch, you know, and then I was like <laughs> cleaning the windows and <laughs> yeah. no joke to the side. But the wow. thing is that it's, it's getting there. We, we had quite a long road. I thought, you know, the first time I came here, yeah. I thought, oh, this is not so bad. You know, <laughs> this will do a little bit of paint and then, okay. you know, like you're finished and yeah. then tack, tack, you can move in. Yeah. But then, you know, you started to like, ah, oh, well, you don't have any electricity. You don't have any water. You yeah. don't have any internet. <laughs> you don't have like, so first we dug the whole place up and then we had to put all the cables, like 18,000 meters of cables oh, everywhere. Everything underground. Everything uh, underground. How long has that been now that you started it? Two years almost. Two years? No way. Yeah, really? I thought it was like six months. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. But it actually took almost two years. So when we both saw the place, we liked the layout. We really liked how everything was like, you know, with the house, with our privacy, with, with, with the clients. We, we both sort of like fell in love with the place pretty quickly. Like it's, we, we watched a couple of places. There was a few places that, you know, I said, I like this and Linda said, mm, and then Linda said, mm, and then, you know, like, but this place, we both came here and we just saw the place. And I don't think we fully understood how much work we had to put in, but <laughs> nah. <laughs> but we loved, we loved the feeling. And we, we also thought, you know, like, this can be a home for us and for our kids and like just something that we can really enjoy together. And I think that was made us buy this place in the, f in this, in the first uh, period. The happiness of these horses and the, the, that we've really made sure it functions for them has been fundamental in how we built everything. For instance, yeah. with this, all the yards and the gallop track everything and the, everything and the is about how their, their life would be and to make it as good as we can. And I have to say, the first day we put them in the boxes, and they put all their heads out at our, gar our garden and I realised it was, it was the right move because then they just, they beamed. Like it's how people always think that photo is fake when oh, they put photos so up of them, they think it's fake. But it's just these horses are loving life. So there's this beautiful connection of family and friends with all the horses and everything that works here. So I think it's become, I think the place, it's got its soul back. I think so too. And like I also said before in the interviews, like everything here, it's about the horses. Like we would not, this is nothing without horses. The, the place is, then you can buy yourself a villa and you have a Volvo and you have a dog and there's nothing wrong with that. But like this is just, you know, this place lived through the horses and everything we do with from the apple trees to the, to everything exactly like Lynn says, it's because we have the horses and we are trying to show our gratitude to them because they're working with us as a partner and, and we can only achieve all of these medals, goals, whatever we do, it's with them. Yeah. And that's that's the nice part, to spend your life together with actually with with the horses that you that you love and that you wanna that you wanna work with. I think that's a blessing and itself. So this is our stable. So the thing was when we, wow. when, when we started doing this was that like when I started riding, I only rode. But now like the next couple of, like last couple of years, I've started having more clients, more, mm -hmm. more people riding for me. Yes. And at the old place, we were all sort of like together. And what we've done now is that I have two, like different, or actually three yeah. different sections. One is our private section when we live. One is our main section when, when Lyndall and I and Marlin have our 
riding horses, sales yep. horses, competition horses, and we have a third section where all the clients are. Mm -hmm. But that's nice. So yeah. it's like quite separated, and that's yeah. what I like. When we started, we'd had like three different entrances. Everything was quite well organized, yeah. and we kept that also. So this is the our main stable. Yeah. yeah. And do you have a mixture here of like stallions, geldings, or everything is, this... is mixed? Everything is mixed. Here, here, yes, everything is mixed. Oh my God, it's so chilled. Impressive. Yeah, but I'm like, you know, they all have to adapt. Yeah. So okay, I put the stallions. They have really big boxes in the back, and then you know, but they're all in the same stable. So I've never, never did anything weird like that. Oh, here comes my dog. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hey, puppy! Usually with these dogs, the owners have the same kind of hair, but... Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, this <laughs> one, in this case. We're yeah. clipping him all oh, the time. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. It's like crazy. It's I've seen him all over like Lindell's Instagram. Yeah. I feel like I'm meeting like a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. So then here we have like... Also, we've done a little bit. We have a new solarium. This I is like brand. these. Yeah, so this like is really, yeah. Looks like at the hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's good for you. You can stand on there. You can get yeah. the <laughs> The thing with these ones is that they... You can basically sun 60 horses for what it would cost to sun one. Really? Them. Really? Yeah. Is it very energy saving? Mm. That's very nice. The other ones are really expensive. They're also very. so high. Maybe that much How about well. this? Oh, no. This is all built in. So you can Expense always see. Yeah. Ah, uh, there <laughs> you go. And again, I built everything up in the roof uh -huh. so that I don't see. You don't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like magic. <laughs> it's like magic. It's not always scary. Yeah. So this you can all change and fix however you want. And then here it's like, you know, cleaning up areas. Yeah. I like this so much. This yeah, is also, really, And then yeah. put the light also, like small touches, but it like it's makes like, such a difference to have the light inside. And do you have a favorite horse? I don't have any favorite horses, but the thing is, so this side here is all Lindels and my competition horses. Okay. And the reason for that is Hello. that the windows here, <laughs> so sweet. that's our garden. Oh, oh, so you can oh, see them from the nice. house. And when we sit in our garden, that's nice. you see the horses from the garden. Oh, but you still nice. have really that like private like yeah. thing yeah. that everyone wants to have, but you still have the rest as well. Yeah. But you still ended up giving this one the apple. Yeah, so I'm this, sure this, <laughs> this, I really love this horse. I, but I have to say, I love them all. Yeah, They're okay. all really... They're all very pretty also. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this table, but there's not one like... They're well, all pretty. I, I guess they, they are what you make them. That's true. <laughs> so, um, that's true. Oh my god, that looks insane. Look at all the bits as well. <laughs> so this is like, this is also quite cool. This is like metal behind, so you can change the Yeah. Around. This gives me like a, like a walk-in closet vibe. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like Tom Ford walk-in closet. Linda calls me that my, my Tom Ford place. Oh, really? Yeah, so I funny. love Tom Ford. I'm a real <laughs> Tom Ford fan. I, I can, people I can have, tell. <laughs> some people have like these things for the shoes. Yeah, this yeah. is like, you know, just like oh, this. Oh, we're going to the center the... island as well. Oh, I like that as oh, well. Oh, you know, like for the here. boots and stuff. and. Also, what we've wow. done here is that we have done this, for example. So all the bridles are like here. Oh. So all the bridles are packed away. And they don't get dusty. No, they don't. <laughs> and oh my God, look at this little like Hall of Fame, <laughs> all the caps. <laughs> I always think like so funny how everyone does it their own way. But I'm curious what you do because if everything else looks like this. Yeah, true. Everybody has their own way. They put like bridles. Yeah, you just do the nose about the same way. Yeah. yeah. No. But that's also different from country to country. Like yeah. the, the Dutch does it one way, the, you know, the that's Germans true. does it in another way. I do but I really like... <laughs> <laughs> but I just, you know, this is just packed a little bit up. And then we have here, we have like, you know, just the stuff for them daily day uses. Wow. Bandages. It's like, you know, a little bit of like, you know, for the, for the tactics. <laughs> So this is then what I call the nanny apartment. Uh -huh. This little apartment, if you, you know, in the venture when we have someone helping us with when she gets a bit older, she can live here. Okay. This is a very big guest house. It's like, I think it's like 400 square meters. It's like our house. Yeah, <laughs> basically like huge. <laughs> yeah. And then this is for like when client wow. comes, you know, my good clients, they rent this. Yeah. And it has everything with the gym, with the, wow. like, you know, the really? whole, the whole so thing. So they get very spoiled here. Very. <laughs> Well, they are very nice, so they should have a nice place to stay. <laughs> That's true. And if you do it, you might as well do it well. Um, that right. is it looks so nice. Is there. That's exactly this. it. <laughs> so this is then the indoor. Wow. This I also wanted to do with a lot of glass. This is giving me like a bit of <laughs> well, Hogwarts. Works. Sorry. <laughs> it's giving me like Hogwarts, but like yeah. fancier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, this, oh is, this, this front building, the thing was that I wanted to have the arches the same. Yeah. So they're all the same. And this is brand new. Wow. And then yeah. the indoor is old but we have completely renovated re it re renovated exactly <laughs> do you ever ride and, with an orchestra and also <laughs> yeah. 
And also here, like everything is with wow. LED lights. So it's all like fixable. And also we have everything here so you can right. control everything <laughs> with, with iPads. Like so you can control oh, yeah. all the, the electricity and stuff. Then we have here like, you know, guest. It's almost finished now, like for the, for oh, the guest really like nice. bathrooms and oh, stuff. Oh, very nice. I like how Patrick is just like ignoring his whole career on the wall. Oh. He's like, oh, that thing, oh, that. <laughs> no, he's like, this and is... then we have the for that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> is this both Lindor and yours? No, this is only mine. That's all, oh, it's <laughs> only yours? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's not everything. It's, it's, my God. Don't want to it's around thousand placings in Grand Prix. That's in amazing. Prix. Yeah, they're almost all Grand Prix. Wow. But then I think Isabel probably has like 10,000. So then I think I still have a bit to Doesn't go. Doesn't matter about Isabel. It's like, so what Doesn't you do matter. then you can do here and then you put the lights on for the indoor. Was this already like this then? Or no, did this you is do all completely new. And how, why did you decide to make the roof like? <sighs> the roof was very old. The whole place was very it's old. Quite old. It's difficult to, to really say. If I show you pictures, you'll understand, but it was very old. Yeah. So this is all like old basically really new now. And this has no ebb and flow, but this has these rubber mats under who mm. makes it really like go. But the water comes from there? Then? The water comes from up there, oh, exactly, it's exactly, exactly. It's like a mini earth in here. Sorry? It's like a mini earth with yeah, like the rain like, and it's, everything. It's, it's quite, uh, it's very tall, but it was really like, we have insulated it and we have done all the woods and yeah. it's, we pretty did the whole thing. And then this is then what we call the, I call it the chill room. We're still waiting a little bit. So here's going to be like electric doors everywhere. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're still waiting for that. And then oh here. Oh, it smells so new in here. This is very, <laughs> this smells very new. I like that. And oh this is God. like, uh, wow. this is like the chill room. Wow, it's amazing. And then, it, and you look, oh. get to look at also it's a dog everybody. Oh, yeah, he, he can go wherever he wants. <laughs> Oh, Tom Ford again. And so, yeah, Tom Ford, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, the info behind everything. But are you good with throwing things away when they're old or when you have other stuff? Or no, do you want to keep everything? I try to keep a little bit of stuff. Because I, you have I some do. space now still. We have quite a lot of space, but this is quite cool. So this is a wall with all I like that clients, yeah. stuff we've done, friends, you know, people that are training, students, they're all a little bit on the wall. Memories. And then this is like the, all our championships horses. Everything just works. So together. these are wow. all, the, all the horses that done championships for us. So, you know, sometimes you have clients and they bring the, the daddy's mitt. Oh and the daddy's God. doesn't like horses, you know. Yeah. So then the daddies also need to do something. <laughs> I'm sure that's the only so reason. Then, then you can like, you know, have And even the TV is hidden. <laughs> Then you, you know, the then you, then, then the you put the TV up and then you have Netflix and you have, yeah. you know, so then they can also. Wow, I love that. <laughs> I guess this is your office? This is my office. Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> This, this is my office. I would be terrified if I was working for you and I had to come in here. <laughs> yeah, this, that's uh, normally should be very good. This is like my office. So this is where you then, you know, you can, you know, when people are coming or you, you know, you're selling stuff or, you know, like wow. this is just a place to be. Yeah, and I also try to make this a little bit more modernish, like we're, we're working on it now. Yeah, it's a cool well, table. The table's it's, amazing. It's, yeah. And then here it's like, you know, all a little bit of the special stuff. But I have like, you know, the Olympic yeah, but just looking at it, and stuff like, that I actually like. You see one for real? You know, stuff that you really liked and won. And then here is like, or and here's like a, a rubber duck that my wife gave me because <laughs> I always, when you, you know, when I was little and people were pushing me down, yeah. I always thought myself as a rubber duck. You know, oh. they push you under the water yeah, yeah. and you plop up again. Then we have in here, it's the, what I call the competition section. No, oh, <laughs> so here, so just here, a little something. <laughs> so, so, so here is like, you know, like you can see if I can open this so then you can see. So this here, I have my lorries. Oh my God, I love that. So they're all, and I'll tell you, it's very, it's one centimeter on the top. Oh, oh my God. But uh, this is a huge space. I mean, people don't realize how big this is, but I'm a very tall human. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is quite big. God. It's really funny, the first time when I was a lot younger, the first time I heard about you yeah. was because a friend of mine said, oh my god, I was driving next to the truck of Patrick Kittle. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have a lot of fields. And then over there, 
we have a big canter track. Oh, I love that. And this whole forest here also belongs to us. Okay. So you can ride through the whole forest here really? in the back. Huh? Yeah. That's so, good. No so, cars? No cars, no nothing. Wow, amazing. Did you ever have this as a goal or did it just like... I was think... Was your mind really? Well, it's not really in our mind, but I think when it when the opportunity came and we just found it, I think then we're like, okay. Yeah, let's and then do you it. Start like you, then you start working in the brain. Yeah. yeah. You know, like oh, that so things, you know, like but that's here. the best way. Maybe when it comes like a little scandic over there. Oh my God! Yep, oh, there he's, you go. He's out eating. Oh my God! Here, so cool. for example, this is like a, a scanner for number plates. Oh. Uh huh. So when the gates is here, and for example, you come, okay. you give me a number plate, oh, and, and it, you drive, and oh, it recognizes cool. it, and the gates goes open. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Please, your ticket. I like the way Patrick thinks. Is he, he like simplifies things with like extremely complicated technology. Yeah, that, that's how I like it, you know. And like also, for example, if you look here, we have then here like, here for example, camera. Oh who yeah. Films the, the. Oh yes, the fields. Yeah. Then this is the outdoor. I'm glad we're seeing it in summer. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. That it's. Yeah. And this has ebb and flow. This yeah. outdoor. Okay. I need to step in it. Yeah, please. <laughs> Otherwise, I haven't been. Can you even focus Ooh. when you ride or are you just looking around? Oh, <laughs> I have to say it took me quite a while to start focusing because I was always looking at everything that needed to be done. Oh, of course. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, this is here and this is there and, you know, like, they have to clean up here, they have to do this. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. now I'm actually starting to, yeah. to enjoy doing everything here. And getting we're, in your own rhythm maybe? Yeah, yeah, we're getting to like the point where we're actually now almost like finished with everything. So for me, like when I start like with the warm-up, it's very important that I don't put any pressure on them from beginning. So I really like just to, basically I'm supposed to be able to take the hand away. Woohoo! Maybe I will fall off on the first <laughs> ride. But I should be able to take the hand away and I should be able to take the leg away and he should still be able to keep cantering or doing whatever I want without me having to influence him at all. And then when I want to do a transition, I should be like, oh. And I should be able just very easy in the beginning, be able to bend him a little bit to the left. Check, can I bend him a little bit to the right? Can I go a little bit straight on the line? And I stretch him. What would you think would be the like main problem if something is difficult like mental or physical for the horse i think for me the most important thing is that you get them mentally as easy as you get them physically so they have to want to do like they want to have to do the job and i think when you when you start with horses ho i think the most important thing is that you have a horse that really wants to go and how old is this one do you know this one is 13. And what is it training? It, it, I think it does Grand Prix. I've never, like I said, it's the first time I ride it. Yeah. So, but I think it's, uh, it should, it should do Grand Prix. We will see when I'm finished. <laughs> Good. I think it's really important that you can come back without having to squeeze. Good. But that really nice. So that you can just come back and like, you don't have to put too much leg on. And when you put the leg on, he has to go more forward. And then when you come back, you must be able to come back. Uh, also, it's really important is if you've done something hard, it's also important that they immediately also can go like really relaxed. Yeah. So I can put them like relaxed, but I can also immediately like come back, click.
thank you so much for having us. Your place is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad Yes and I could come here and have a look at everything. Also, hearing you was so insightful in the yeah. arena, sharing your experiences and your little tricks of <laughs> tricks of the trade. Well, it's very inspiring seeing the place and yeah. everyone and the horses being so happy and. Yeah, it just looks really great and it was really yeah. cool to see for me. Well, it was cool having you guys, you yeah. know, it's not every day you have, you know, two influencers of your standard here. <laughs> and riders and models and, you know, everything that you yeah. guys do. And it's, ah, thank you. it's nice to show you a little bit of you yeah, know, how we amazing. work, how we, how we are with the horses. And, of course, you have Piraz Stallion. Yeah, of course, yeah. I was telling Patrick, I was like, if there's one thing that's going to come out of all this is that I'm going to come back. This is like how I'm putting like my foot back in the door. Uh, and Patrick's going to have to try and ride my PRE because he's never ridden a PRE before. No. And it's going to have to happen. It and has to happen. Change. And you have to bring your riding pants and I put you on my best horse and let's do like a, a ride off. We'll do a horse swap. Yeah, we'll horse do a horse swap. Horse swap. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. I'm holding you to that. You should. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure. On the neck rope. <laughs> yeah, on the neck rope. Okay. Don't you get too your horse then. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, have you ever tried neck rope? No, Bitless? I'm too chicken for that. I'm a father no. now, you know, then you're no, too chicken true. for neck ropes and, you know, all that. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> Maybe you can try. Well, it's been a pleasure. Okay, thank no, you, my thank friend. you so much yeah. for everything. Yeah. I really thank appreciate you so much. it. I'm going to go and ride a bit. Okay. And we'll see you. Okay, see you we'll next. see you soon. Very soon. soon. Okay. Ciao. Bye-bye. Did they wash him for you, for you yet? <laughs> he used to be ready. Mm -hmm.